How does it feel to be back in the action? Uh, it feels great. You know, back out there with my teammates. Uh, I'm more humbled and blessed to be back, really. How eager are you to start hitting? Looks like you've uh, had to hold up a few times out oh, here. Oh, yeah, you know, it's a process. You know, I'm, I'm consciously knowing that, you know, I'm staying out of contact, but every once in a while, you know, that's just in my DNA, but I, I like it. It's fun. Are you going to stay in the red jersey for the rest of spring, or is there a chance uh, to get it off? Most likely, however it goes, you know, whatever the coach wants. How's everything feeling now? I mean, is it, it feels good. Which which shoulder did you have done on first? Because you had both. Yeah, I had on, my right? left one done first. Okay. And right one. And, uh, yeah, it's been about four months. Somewhere. Okay. How close to being fully recovered do you feel? Uh, you know, it's a process every day. I'm just going in and getting my treatment, and um, you know, the trainers will let me know. No football player likes to sit out of season. Was there any benefit from sitting out and watching uh, that you're being able to bring to spring ball? Uh, I feel like me sitting out of the season really humbled me and, um, you know, made me want to take my game to another level this year. And uh, sitting back watching my teammates, you know, uh, I'm proud of them for stepping up and uh, they had a great season last year. And uh, this year I'm just focused on getting back into chemistry with my teammates and uh, trying to make any plays or do whatever I can do. Does it give you a different perspective seeing it from kind of a coach's perspective rather than a player on the field? Definitely, you know, because when you're out there, some things you don't see, but, you know, when you sit back and watch, it's like you, you see what's really going on. So, you know, just knowing the game and knowing what's going on, being able to help the, the young guys, which are now, you know, becoming veterans because they, they have a lot of playing time. But, uh, yeah, seeing it from the sideline really helps a lot. Are you back into full gear in the workout area? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lifting now, I'm doing, doing everything I can do. It looks like today you were moving around a ton, Coach Moore talked about it. Um, how do you see your versatility kind of helping the defense this year? Um, I feel like, you know, the players trust me. I trust the players, you know, I'm just going to feel wherever I'm needed. And, uh, you know, I see the ball in the air, I'm going to try to go get it. Are you kind of the de facto leader of the DBs this season? You know, I... I like to think of us all as brothers, you know. We don't have no one leader because, you know, we, we all get advice from each other. You know, I take advice from Jalil Wadu as well. He take it back from me. So we don't like to lead, have who's leading who. We're just all one brotherhood. Do you feel like you've been able to build up chemistry with Jaleel, you know, playing with each other these few Yeah, you know, I've known Jaleel since we were younger, you know, back playing with the Snoop Youth League and everything, so, you know, it's just natural. We we all hang out with each other on and off the field, so, yeah, being back there with Jaleel, as long as Tahan, like, with Tahan as well, you know, all the safeties, it doesn't really matter who's back there. How impressive is it to see Marcus Rios back out here playing the way he is? I'm proud of him. I tell him that every day, you know, going through what he went through and seeing him now, I'm just, it makes me want to do right and do better for myself as well. So I'm proud of him. How does the secondary depth compare to maybe the, the last few years that you've been here? Uh, I mean, it's all the same, you know, just cats getting older every year, you know, being more, being more smart and more key to the game. And uh, it makes it a lot easier on Coach Me and Coach Moore and everybody else that, you know, we're starting to know our, our techniques and everything a lot better. So it's good. Thanks, Brian.